Now, if you watch last night's show, you know now that Biden's pick to head the HHS is not just an unrepentant leftist, but totally unqualified for the job. We're talking about, of course, the California Attorney General uh, Javier Becerra. But Biden's future chief medical officer, Anthony Fauci, he thinks Becerra is just peachy as a choice. I've interacted with uh, uh, Secretary-elect Becerra uh, in his capacity as a congressman because I testify before the Congress quite frequently over the years. So I've had the opportunity to interact with him. He's a fine person. I'm very pleased with that selection. Well, maybe he picked him. My next guest knows all about Becerra. He beat him at the Supreme Court. Joining me now is Jim Bopp, General Counsel for the National Right to Life Committee. Jim, what do Americans need to know uh, when someone like Becerra will be running the Department of Health and Human Services, if confirmed? Well, well what we need to know is that we've got a real cult cultural warrior for the radical left that's going to be in charge of health care policy for uh, America. Uh, certainly as to the federal government, as the federal government is concerned. Uh, when he was in Congress and in California Attorney General, uh, he pursued the most extreme pro-abortion policies. Uh, he opposed making it a crime to assault a pregnant woman and kill her baby. Uh, he opposed making it a crime uh, to kill a newborn infant in the nursery who had survived an abortion. And of course, he opposed making it a crime uh, to commit partial birth abortions. And not, you know, satisfied with that, uh, he actually brought felony charges against a pro-life undercover journalist because that journalist exposed Planned Parenthood's selling of aborted baby parts. Yeah, this guy is a, is a real warrior for the left. Yeah, he's bought and paid for by the National uh, Planned Parenthood Coalition. Now, Becerra, uh, he also has attacked Christian business owners, basically defending attacks on them for not paying for their employees' contraception, even if it's against their religious beliefs. Watch. The owner is right to his religious freedom, his religious beliefs. The owner has a right to his or her religious beliefs. But that doesn't mean you get to discriminate against women if women have different beliefs than what the owner has. And the woman wants to exercise her rights under the Constitution. Well, Jim, of course, this is the Hobby Lobby case. Uh, the Supreme Court smacked him down on that argument. But does that worry you, someone with the power that he's going to have to lead this uh, department where well, he has such a ridiculously flawed and, and horrific view of religious liberty rights. He has he is, he is, uh, fought people of faith and uh, sought to undermine their uh, religious freedom. Uh, and it's just not commenting on the Hobby Lobby case, but, but he has consistently gone to court to fight people of faith and to try to undermine their religious beliefs. Uh, he went to court to try to stop the Trump administration from extending conscious protections to health care workers. He dragged yeah. the Sisters of the Poor to the United States.